guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my July BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, as you can see, last month I didn't do June's, and that's because it was a month late. I actually received my July BoxyCharm first, um, but I did get my June um, one. They, I got it like the day after, and yeah, they just sent me a replacement box, and they were pretty good about it. But yeah, like, not cool. I got it like a month late. Whatever, we're going to get on into it, um, so if you're interested on in seeing what I got this month, keep on watching. Before we get started though, make sure to click that subscribe button. I am going to be more consistent with my upload schedule now. So, of course, this is what the box looks like, and we open it. And we have the little card, and the theme this month is Cutie Pie. And the first thing I'm going to grab is this guy. And this is the Duo Setting um, Powder. So it's the Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo by Bare Minerals. And it retails for $32. Um, and I've already seen some sneak peeks. Apparently it's really good. Um, but it comes with a glowy one and a matte one. I don't really like the packaging. I feel like it's kind of cheap. I don't know, that's just me. And then on the back it says matte light and the ingredients and stuff. And then it comes with a little plastic cover. And let's feel it. So, I don't know. The glowy one has like shimmers in it, so I don't know how I feel about that because like these are supposed to be like setting powders, no? Yeah, setting powders, so I don't know, I don't like shimmers, setting powders, but you never know until you try it, maybe it'll make the under eyes really nice and bright, and then I feel like the matte ones are like almost too creamy, like I feel like it wouldn't control oil really well. But it also doesn't say to control oil. Maybe I'm just reaching because it's matte. But we'll see how it is. I don't hate the product. Like, based on feeling, it's nice. I'll probably use it. But I'm just not, like, over the moon about it. I was actually hoping for the sunscreen because I don't have very many sunscreens. Um, the next item is a setting spray. And it is the Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray from Project Beauty. We have received Project Beauty in the box before, and I remember liking their items. And this retails for $32 as well. It just says it's a setting spray. It doesn't make it dewy or anything like that. So just comes like this. It's kind of on a slant. Weird. So we're just going to... doesn't smell... Just a nice mist. You definitely really have to do it far away though, because like from that far away, like there's lots of little speckles, but like mind you, I did spray it more than once. Um, but that's nice. I always can go for a new setting spray. Um, the next item is this brow product. I kind of like the packaging because it's pretty, but I don't like it because it doesn't like have the product name on it. It just says Winky Lux at the top. And then the grams at the bottom, it doesn't say like what it is, e and even on the ends. But this guy is the Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil from Winky Lux, and it retails for $12. And it just has a angled little brush. Let's see how it goes on. Hmm, I don't know. Not crazy about that. And then next is what I'm really excited for. It is the Electric Eyes Palette by Blink, and it retails for $45, um, and they collaborated with BoxyCharm for this one, and it just looks something like this. Ah! It's pigmented, I barely touched it, and oh wow. Oh yeah. Like super buttery, guys. Wow, that red shade though. Beautiful. 
Now, in this palette, I do wish there was mattes because you can't travel with this, but wow, are these shades beautiful. And this last shade right here, I don't know if you can see that because it's an awkward angle, but you can almost use that as a highlight. So pretty. And then the last item is this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, um, which is funny because in the card it says Ultra Matte Lips. So ColourPop. Um, and that retails for $6, which kind of sucks because like that's pretty cheap. But like at the same time it's ColourPop, so I ain't upset about it. But like if it was any other brand, like if they put a Maybelline lipstick in here, I would be kind of upset, no? This one. So let's see what color I got. I got Lock Diary, and it's this beautiful pink magenta color. And these satin lips are basically just liquid lipsticks that don't dry down completely matte and they're not transfer proof. Oh, and this is from the Hello Kitty line. I just realized that it has little bows up here and it just looks like that. I really like this color. I'll definitely get some use of that. I love colors like that. Um, so yeah, that's it for my video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you got the boxy charm this month and if you got the same items. Did you get the same color for the color pop? Did you get a matte liquid lipstick like we were supposed to technically? Did you get the sunscreen instead of the powder? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep sticking to videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays from now on. Um, I had some personal stuff going on, so I didn't just because I was not feeling the motivation and I never want to force myself to film just because I like doing YouTube and I want to do it because I enjoy it, not because I have to. So yeah, and I guess that's it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.